Whether you're an avid fisherman or just enjoy being out on the water, having a good fish finder can make all the difference. But, finding the right mounts for your fish finder can be just as important. There are a few things to consider when choosing a mount for your fish finder. First, you'll want to make sure that the mount is sturdy and can hold the fish finder securely. You'll also want to make sure that the mount is easy to install and remove, so you can take it with you when you switch boats. A flush mount is one of the most popular ways to mount a fish finder. It's simple and easy to do, and it keeps the fish finder close to the hull of the boat. This is a good option if you're worried about the fish finder being damaged by waves or other objects. If you follow these steps, you'll be able to easily flush mount your fish finder in your dash. This will keep it within easy reach and make it look much nicer. A surface mount is another popular option. It's easy to install and it keeps the fish finder close to the hull of the boat. This is a good option if you're worried about the fish finder being damaged by waves or other objects. Surface mounts are small devices that are placed on the surface of the water, and they transmit signals that are used to generate a fish finder image. These signals are then sent to the fish finder unit itself, which uses them to create a real-time image of what's beneath the surface of the water. Surface mounting your fish finder is a great way to get the most out of your investment, and it's a good way to ensure that you're able to find fish when you're out on the water. Keep these tips in mind and you'll be able to surface mount your fish finder like a pro. A through-hull mount is a more difficult option, but it has its benefits. It puts the fish finder closer to the water, which can help you get a better signal. This is a good option if you're looking for the best possible performance from your fish finder. Through-hull mounts, on the other hand, are a bit more difficult to install but offer a few advantages over transom mounts. If you're looking for the best view of your fish finder, then a through-hull mount is the way to go. However, if you're worried about theft or you don't want to drill any holes in your boat, then a transom mount is probably a better option. Anglers often look for different ways to mount their fish finder on their boat. One of the most popular methods is through the use of a transom mount. This type of mount allows for easy installation and removal of the fish finder, as well as providing a solid base for the device. This is a relatively simple process, but it is important to take your time and make sure that everything is properly secured. When choosing a portable mount for your fish finder, there are a few things you'll want to keep in mind. First, you'll need to decide what type of mount you want. There are suction cup mounts, clamp mounts, and stake mounts. Each type has its own advantages and disadvantages, so it's important to choose the one that will work best for your particular situation. If you're using a suction cup mount, the process is pretty simple. Just affix the mount to the chosen location and then attach your fish finder. Fish finders can be mounted in a variety of ways, including on the transom, rear of a boat, on a trolling motor, or a fishing kayak. Rail mounts are a popular option for boat-mounted fish finders. Rail mounts are available in a variety of sizes to fit most boat rails. They typically have a quick-release mechanism that makes it easy to remove the fish finder when it's not needed. If you're looking for a convenient way to mount your fish finder on your boat, a rail mount is a great option. With a rail mount, you'll enjoy better visibility and protection for your fish finder and easy access for making adjustments. If you're an avid fisherman, then you know the importance of having a good fish finder. But what's the best way to mount your fish finder so that you can get the most accurate readings? Console mounts are a popular option as they allow you to easily see and access your fish finder. But there are a few things you need to keep in mind when mounting a fish finder by console. First, make sure that the mount is securely attached to the console. You don't want your fish finder bouncing around while you're driving. Second, consider the placement of the mount. You want to be able to see the screen easily, so make sure it's not blocked by other items on the console. One, first, you'll need to find a suitable location for your fish finder. It's important to find a spot where the transducer can be lowered into the water without any obstruction. Two, once you've found the perfect spot, drill a hole through the hull of your boat. Three, Next, attach the swivel mount to the fish finder using the screws that come with it. Four. Finally, lower the transducer into the water and you're ready to start fishing. Bow mount is another good option for anglers who want portable fish finder mounting ideas. Bow mounted fish finders are mounted on the bow of the boat, so they are easy to see and use while you're fishing. They are also great for shallow water fishing because you can see the fish that are swimming under your boat. 
No matter which type of fish finder you choose, you will need to know how to install it properly. In this article, we'll show you how to mount a fish finder with a transom mount and a bone mount. A stern mount is a good option if you want to keep the fish finder close to the stern of the boat. It's easy to install and it doesn't require any drilling. This is a good option if you want the fish finder close to the stern. An inflatable mount is a good option if you want to be able to move the fish finder around. It's easy to install and it's portable, so you can take it with you when you go fishing. This is a good option if you want the flexibility to move the fish finder around. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.